big ships getting built in, in Britain now, mm. well, especially Clyde. Most places that get built was frigates and yarrows. Mm. So there's no passenger liners or tankers getting built. All you've got is Ferguson down there. They were building, let's say, mostly built with ferries for the islands. Yeah. And uh, oh, there wasn't like, a great lot of ships because that place down in Port Glasgow has closed up now. You know, they're dry dock. Because mm-hmm. I see the built houses around about that place, place now. Yeah. So, but my job on it was uh, the intercom systems because the intercom systems on the plate on the, the boat were insufficient. Just at the basic, same as we 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 do the smoke and gas detectors. The engine room had about three smoke detectors, no no flame detectors. And my so job was. There's over 300 sparks in that, that boat. And I don't know if they all were. One time you've seen half of them was at dinner time and tea times. Other than that, you never, never seen them. They were all different, uh, what do you call it? Squads. Those squads consisted of uh, a gaffer and six men. And we didn't at start at the comp system throughout the boat, then we went to the, the fire department side, the smoke detectors and all that, putting smoke, extra smoke detectors in places that was insufficient. Then on the boat there, oh, must be a couple of thousand people on it, easily. And you one squad, we call them, the, it was a Siberia squad. They done uh, all the tray work, the heavy duty tray was all, it wasn't stainless steel. So they had to lift all the cables up, take all the tray out and put stainless steel back in its place. And they worked night shift and all that and, uh, during the winter. So we call it the Siberian place because the guys just, I don't know if they get extra money for it, they should have got extra money for that, because it wasn't a very nice job, but whatever, there was somebody had to do it. And uh, that's all right. Oh yeah. Oh, well, did you say your time, what, did you like working there or? Or was it sort of something that you didn't like as much? It was uh, an experience. Like 18 months was on it. And uh, plenty of overtime. Got to go a few good guys. And uh, even the gaffer. I met him after I left there a couple of years ago. The guy in there, a Norwegian guy, because it was mostly Norwegian, uh, sent it over to get oh, the Norwegian uh, boy. Yeah. And we called him a Quisling because he shocked everybody and you know, was good, that's who he was going down there, reporting people. So I always remember there was one guy there. I don't know if he ever done any work. Every time you seen him, he was carrying a length of tree. And I never get stopped because if you're carrying a tray, they'll assume you're working. But he was all he was doing was going somewhere else to yak people and all that. And I think we come back again. But uh, no, I quite liked it. Definitely an experience. You don't rush about for things. A job we usually take somebody. Two days might take about a week and a half on a ship. I always say I've worked on the shipyards. Not very long, but. <laughs>